Let's move on to the other top focus story and there's a quick breaking update on what's been happening in Bangladesh. Now remember what has again uh, ex led to a lot of concern are these images that you see on your screens where a puja mandap there has come under attack. India has expressed serious concerns. What India also does underline as we have Rishabh joining us for more details is that this is a systemic pattern of desk creation and damage to temples and deities is not to be tolerated is what New Delhi has reiterated. Uh, Rishabh, there has been of late, you know, a number of these incidents that clearly have raised concerns. What more do we know about what possibly could happen vis-a-vis, -vis, you know, some very strong words already that have come in from New Delhi? Well, definitely, if we talk about Bangladesh, there have been 35, at least 35 incidents of violence or uh, some kind of disturbance during the Durga Puja at the Durga Puja um, uh, mandaps in various parts of Bangladesh, from Silet to Mirpur to Dhaka as well. There have been at least, uh, ha, you know, 50 arrests till now. As for the police in Bangladesh, uh, they call it isolated, but this looks like a very systematic uh, pattern in Bangladesh and New Delhi for, for a change. Remember, New Delhi or Government of India do not respond to internal issues or law and order issues of various countries. India did not even, uh, uh, you know, uh, responded to US or Canada on their uh, internal issues. But here we see that the way, uh, you know, uh, India has responded, it showcases that India is very concerned. Uh, India's External Affairs Ministry in an official statement has said that India is concerned about about the uh, attacks that have uh, taken place on various uh, puja mandaps in Bangladesh and has also very categorically said that what happened at the Jogeshwari temple where the golden crown was uh, stolen is something that is a matter of concern and should be taken care of. All right, Rishabh, for the moment, thank you for getting us the latest on that story. We'll continue to track that and see what happens, whether there is enough action that does come in from Bangladesh and the UNOS government.